Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks so much for stopping by to spend some time with me here today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting, tutorials, and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. I've got lots more for you. We'll move on to the second stamp set in this kit, and this is the Natural Silhouettes. I have a few projects to share with you for that stamp set. So for my first card for this set, I'm going to make a slimline card. I wanna show you my template reference book and how you can make the slimline card an envelope, and then we'll come right back to creating the card. So in this book, I've got it filled with templates I've designed to make card making a breeze for pretty much anybody. So in the back, I've got a little pocket and it's got a sample of my slimline card size and how to cut and score it. And then I've also got this handmade envelope reference guide. Now I call these Genvelope templates. These are things I've designed to show you how to make envelopes using cardstock from your stash. So I have all the information I need here to make the slimline envelope and card. I will also link to a playlist and a specific video that shows you all about my templates, how to create this specific envelope and so much more. There's a lot of information and if you're just learning about card making, this is the place to be. Okay, so back to the card. I've got the envelope made. I've got a layer already glued down to my slimline card. I also have a piece of Gina K Designs pattern paper inside of my envelope flap as a liner just to kind of tie everything together and create some extra special elements. So I've got a piece of my post-it tape here and I'm going to mask off part of my panel. I want to use a technique that I had seen Gina K use a very long time ago using just regular typing paper. So she just tore the typing paper and then adhered it down in ink blended. So this is similar style, but I'm using post-it tape instead and I'm going to make it on a slimline card. So I just want to get everything lined up where I want it. I need one more piece of post-it tape just because I don't want to ink blend outside of the lines on this panel. I grab some ink blending brushes and I grab some of my Gina K dye ink. I have Wild Lilac, Dusty Rose, and Sweet Corn. I'm going to start on the bottom with Sweet Corn. I don't want any dark lines. I just want some nice soft color. So I just take my time building up that ink. And once I'm happy with the blend, I take the stamp and I lay it over top and then I decide at this point I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm going to put it in my Misty. And then as I lay the stamp over top, I realize that I'm not going to get enough of the imagery that I want. So I'm going to peel off the post-it tape and I'm going to stamp these images right over top of that fun pattern. And as I peel this away, I really love the way that this little rainbow background turned out. Such a soft touch in the back. So I'm going to lay this flower stamp and I'll get it picked up with the door of my Misty and I'll use my Wild Lilac ink and I'm going to stamp that a couple of times to get some nice dark impressions because I've never used this stamp before. So sometimes there's manufacturing residue left on the stamp. So I want to make sure that I get good coverage and I'll stamp my sentiment that says thinking of you. And then I'll take this panel, adhere it to my slimline card and then that's it. Oh, and I grabbed some of my Nouveau Sparkle Pen and I'm just going to sparkly up these flowers a little bit and that is it. Here's my slimline card and coordinating envelope. Such a pretty and elegant card and I love the color purple. Okay, moving on to the next project. I'm going to create a little scene and I'll be doing some ink blending for that. So I've got a panel of cardstock here and a scratch piece of paper just to help pick up some of my ink. And I'm going to create a little mask with a piece of post-it note and the inside of my tape here. I'll cut out my mask and I'm going to put that in the center of my cardstock. I'm going to be creating a sunset over top of an ocean. I'll start with my sweet corn ink and I'll ink blend a beautiful sunset this is a technique that I learned from Teresa Momber. And if you're unfamiliar with Teresa's work, she is an illustrator for Gina K Designs. So for this sunset, I use sweet corn ink, bubblegum pink ink, powder blue, and then blue denim just to deepen up the top of that sky. When I peel up that post-it tape, then you get 
a crisp, clean horizon line that we're going to switch over to create an ocean on the other side of. And I'm going to ink with Blue Lagoon ink and Tranquil Teal. And then I make sure I create a white space sort of where my son would be casting a shadow across the water so I don't blend too dark in the center there. And then I take my sweet corn ink and blend in the sun a little bit on both sides of my water and my sky. And then come back with whatever ink is left on my brush for my ocean and just run that over top of my yellow to create a little bit of faded out greeny blue look in the water. And then I grab my aqua shimmer pen and create a little bit of waves and sparkle in the water. I'm going to use this piece of the stamp. I believe it's supposed to be a hill off in the background. So I'm going to use it as little islands. I'll take a couple of trees and the branch from the set and I will ink those up and stamp them with my black ink. And then I will move that little branch and re-stamp it again along with one of the little birds. I'm going to set that on the branch. And these are all in that same stamp set, the natural silhouettes. And I'm happy with the way that looks. I think it's so pretty. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment thinking of you. I'm going to adhere it to a black panel, adhere it to a white card base, and then that's it for this card. Here's a close-up look at my ocean sunset. All right, moving on to the next card. I grabbed an acrylic block and I'm going to take these flowers in the set and I'm going to load them up onto my acrylic block and because I'm going to be free range stamping, I'm going to rub this really good because I haven't had a chance to use it yet and I wanna make sure that there's no manufacturing residue because I'm not gonna get a second chance to double stamp it. I'm gonna be stamping with Versamark ink so I get one chance. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder bag and pat it all over my cardstock. And then I've got my Gina K Designs watermark ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to stamp a border all around my cardstock. And you won't be able to see it because my head gets in the way and I had to delete that whole part because all you saw was the back of my head, except that one stamp, okay? So you'll see what it looks like here in a moment. I'm going to take this and put it over top of a scratch piece of paper and sprinkle my Gina K Designs fine detail white embossing powder over top of this image. And now you'll see what I've done. I've created a row of flowers on the top and a row of flowers on the bottom. And I will heat set that until it is smooth and melted. And then I'm going to do some ink blending over top of this panel. I start with sweet corn and then peach bellini. I really like those two colors together, it's so pretty. And then I've got apple mint and sea glass and it just creates a really soft rainbow. I really like this color combination. It's so pretty. Okay, once I'm happy with the ink blending, I'm going to wipe off the embossed image to make sure that no ink is sitting on top. And then I'm going to layer this onto a gray piece of cardstock for a background panel. And then I adhered that to a white card base. And then I thought I'm just gonna add in a couple of those little birds sitting on those flowers. And at this point, my hands are full of ink. I have done so much stamping and making such a mess. I'm having so much fun and you can tell by the color of my fingers. So I'm gonna stamp those little birdies sitting on the flowers. And then I'm also going to stamp the sentiment with sympathy. I think this is a perfect sympathy card, the colors and just the soft nature of it. I think it's really nice. So that's it for this card. Here's a close up look at the finished card project. It's a really nice, soft, sympathy card. Okay, here is a look at all three cards that I made with the Natural Silhouette stamp set. I think this stamp set has a lot of possibilities to create a multitude of different types of cards. If you're interested in the products that I used in this video, you can find them in the description in the shopping section down below. So coming up on screen will be part three in this series for the Gina K Designs June 2020 release. Thanks for spending your time with me. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.